Good morning, you guys. I hope you're all well and happy on this Sunday. I've been running around already. I need to come to the yoga pose. I was just um, thinking on my way back, I drove Taylor to the golf course and driving your kids to your sporting events was so much different in Fort Erie. <laughs> In Philadelphia, you're on highways and you're going through here and you're seeing this and it was beautiful. It was fun and it was a really cool reflection. <laughs> um, I've got a list here because I'm kind of like achy. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of stretches and some rolling. Um, while I roll, I want to <laughs> share with you because a lot of you are writing and you know, we're getting ready for the next session and saying, I've fallen completely off and I've had a wild summer and I gotta get focused. That is 20%. That is the 20% of the 80-20 rule, you guys. We train consistently for a long period of time so that we can take those 20%. But I am right with you. This time, um, I really feel kind of like thick through here. I don't know, you just feel, you know, movement is just not the same so i think i'm going to share with you my strategies and my um my methods to get my head back in the game uh, my foot is halfway in the door now i know i've got to get back on track i know this is a great time but to seal the deal with myself i will spend some time today going over my um food going to the grocery store and really thinking about what i'm going to do and imagine what i'm going to do um, I'll go, uh, I took my pictures yesterday. I might, I might not share them with you. My problem sharing my um, uh, specifics with you is that my specifics are not yours, right? But if it helps and I can show you my strategies for staying in the game and keeping a record of where I'm at and why I'm there, right? It's not just, oh my God, I gained 10 pounds. It's like, Rationally, why did you gain that weight? You made a huge transition. Your eating and sleeping is different. You're less stressed. Stress can cause weight gain or weight loss. Um, so many factors. So when you rationalize and really legitimately think about why you're where you're at, it makes a lot more sense and it takes the emotions out of it. It's like, oh my God, I gained some weight. I can't, I don't know what to do. Nah, it's like, I did this, I did this, and I didn't do that, and that's why I'm here. That all makes sense. So, coming back towards, you know, back into a good routine makes sense too. It's not, um, it's not out of our control. <laughs> all right, um, I was gonna do this. And start with the basic twist. Here we go. All right, so the basic twist is rotation. Up tall, you're gonna feel the lengthening right there. Um, I bought a few new tops, they're a little tighter. I'm not liking how it feels here, but I'm gonna continue because I know that if I face, you know, the um, the uncomfortable reality, I guess you call it, more likely to stay focused, right? Go up, over, and a nice basic twist. I miss this so much. Up tall, feel that stretch there, torso turn and lengthen. Oh. And I'm going to go through one more. And one more. At your own pace. Follow your own intuition. I really wanted to go into the bed series, so let's do that. This is where we lie back, test. Now I'm working this leg, 
So it's going to be on the bottom first. So I tested the um, internal rotation and now I'm just going to um, limber up that joint. All right, the hip flexor, um, not the hip flexor, but the muscles and the tendons that are holding those hips in place, tighten up and we're going to loosen them up. Heel up down, knee up down. Good. And then I want that leg on top to continue. So we're going to continue to loosen up that hip joint before we start um, stretching the hamstring at the back. So you're here with that leg on top now. Oh, I didn't do the extension. Oh, well, heel up and down, just like we were doing on the other side, all right? So this um, rotation is reversed to the, when, you're, when it's on the bottom, right? So you're hitting all angles. And then what I want to do is press out and in. And then I'm going to start with my hamstring stretch. So, grasping behind the knee, and you're going to, oh my goodness. All right. No, no judgment zone, this is where we're at. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny, and I have to like commiserate with others that feel the same way. It's like, I have been so active since I've been here in Philadelphia with grandchildren, with walking dogs, with, you know, helping in a family situation. I'm always moving. <laughs> like, I didn't get it. So, but at a certain age, I do believe we have to do specific work, right? Youth is... It's a real nice time. I mean, you don't have to worry too much about anything. Your body is just limber and ready to go at all times. But um, life gets in the way. Grasp, bend and extend. Oh, wow. Well, we're not going to miss any more of these sessions, that's for sure. And nice job. So this is where you want to put your hand on your chest and rotate away. All right, bringing the whole body. I'm just being a, an objective observer right now. I'd really like to feel uh, a little more loose and limber, but it doesn't make any sense to try and rush back to where you were. If you're feeling tight like I am, just use this as an entry point, entry point, entry point, your body will remember, the nervous system will remember, your parts will jump into play as, as soon as we get back on track. All right, a little more consistently. So we're gonna drop that knee in and just see. There is some more mobility there in that hip joint, all right? And the hamstring has a lot to do with that. So loosening up that hamstring and the hip um, muscles uh, all aids in the flexibility. So this side, just take note of how it feels. It's on the bottom to begin with, with that rotation up. And then what I missed on the other side was the extension out, the push. So you're going to rotate up and drive it out. And bring it back in, rotate up. Good, and One more time, rotate up, extend, extend. All righty, that is going to be on the top. So let's um, loosen up this hip joint. Oh, dog hair now, all over the place. That's gross. And knee up. And then forward and back. So, I think my intention with this session, moving back in, is to just go through all the movements um, easily. Point flex will rotate, reset, and get through a whole bunch of stretches as opposed to staying on any one 
for a long time. I'll do that when I feel I'm back in um, in the swing of things for stretching, especially. And whoa, and then the rotation. And then let's see how it goes on that side. Feel a little bit better. All right. There we go. So what I'd like to do next, because we did hamstring, I want to do quad and that quad lunge. You might need, um, yeah, a bit of a pad for your uh, knee. Good. Stretching out here. You're going to um, grasp if possible. If not, just take it to where you're comfortable, all right? And then you're gonna drive that foot back and down. And then you're gonna pull your whole body. And then drive it down in, create the contraction. Pull yourself forward. And again, if you're real limber, if you're real ready. Good. And the other side. Whew. Contract and pull forward. Drive that foot down and in, contract, and pull forward. And if you're comfortable with it, I'm really not quite at this stage yet. With two arms, and that's fine, that's fair. I'm pretty much just uh, taking inventory of what's happening in my body. The first thing I've noticed in the last day or two is stiffness in my joints, and I'm wondering if that is um, food, you know? Uh, yeah, triangle quads. If this is too much for your knees, avoid it, okay? Go into a stretch that feels good for you. So my triangles are here. And I'm just gonna turn around slightly. And the first thing I wanna do is stretch this tibialis, the front of the shin area, good. And then I'm going to pop the knee up and down. Just want to go easy and make sure everything is working smoothly. Good. Good. And then I'm going to take it to the back, to my calves, and stretch that end of it. a little bit further with some pelvic movements. So you're gonna drive your pelvis up, tuck, and release. Up, tuck, and release. Maybe one or two more. You're going at your own pace, using your own um, intuition. You wanna get inside there and feel and see what's going on. Oh. Good, side to side. And then. Good. And then I'm gonna take it up, I, for me, I wanna stretch those calf muscles out again. And one more pelvic circles this time. So you're just gonna rotate. All right, so you can 
feel without attachment is hold as you move your pelvis. Ah. Shark. I said that we were going to go through this one um, a little bit more thoroughly today. Our shoulders were, uh, my shoulders were yesterday. Um, creating contraction and pulling it across your body. Gentle, easy, with awareness. You're not doing these movements just to get the movements done. You're doing it for a reason and you want to feel it. And um, if you go through it smoothly, you're going to feel what feels tight, what feels good, what feels not so good. And even if you can't whew, correct the problem on your own, you have the language to take to your physiotherapist or your chiropractor or your medical professional. Right? And that's important. Okay, so we're going to elongate forward. And up and down. I'm going real slow on these. My joints are a little achy. And it doesn't feel like an injury ache. It feels like an arthritic ache. And I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Good. Now this is following the angle, so that those fingertips are up there and you go down and up that way. And then we're going to reach the floor. So this is the one where you're up and you're going to um, reach the floor and then sway side to side. So you want to press out and in out and in to reach the floor and then add the sway. All right, the last one in this sequence, oh wow, so is touching the floor and moving your body away from it. Whole different stretch there. Good. And I'm gonna give that a rest. Yeah, this is all very uncomfortable. I <laughs> used to look forward to these. All right, but we gotta go through it. You know, we played, we've gotta pay. <laughs> Good, and just with the contraction on the muscle group. Contract and lengthen. Good, and one more. Then right up front, I want you to lengthen away, elongate, and then press up and down. And then, following the angle of that arm, that way, on a diagonal almost. And this is the good shoulder. And then we're gonna take it to the floor. We're gonna lengthen it to the floor. So up on those feet again, right here. Lengthen to the floor and pull back. Lengthen to the floor and pull back, and then rotate. Good. And our last one, catch the floor and pull your body away. Whoa. Well, that was a nice visit. <laughs> we'll come back. Lap pull. Back. All right. So you're sitting on all fours. Um, the, the, the side that you're stretching is up front. Drive that hand in. Not so much that you're uh, challenging the joints. You don't want to add a lot of pressure there, but you do want to add a contraction and pull back. And then I take mine over a little bit further and find a different angle to pull off. And maybe just even one more. Don't know for sure. Here we go. All right. Whew! A little glow going. <laughs> Other side. Here we go. Out front, pull back. A different position, pull back. And so that's your um, lat pull. Glute series. I'm not quite ready for that. I want to do the gorilla. So the gorilla, be a little selfish here. 
my joints, like I was saying, are a little tight. And I woke up thinking, eh, i got to get that sequence done. So what I'm just going to do, I'm not going to overdo it. You know, you don't want to <laughs> You can't get rid of that uh, ache in one day, but certainly mm, ease back into attending to the uh, problem. And rotate those hands. I'm just going to take a second here to stretch each finger. I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to put you through that, but this is one of my things I have to do. So if you choose something that you know that you have to do, you just have to get at it, then you can use this time for that. But I'm going to take each of my fingertips and just stretch the tendons and ligaments. When you do this kind of a stretch, you feel it right up your forearm. All the tendons here, kind of. And one more. Oh, this, this finger is so achy. I dove onto one of those lily pads. Um, and somehow this finger got me, of course. And it hasn't been the same since. I don't think I sprained it, but definitely. And of course, you don't tell anyone that your finger. It's like, no, grandma's okay. That was so cool. <laughs> oh yeah. And I think we're going to finish up with the glute series. That's that pigeon pose. Oh. Pigeon pose. This actually feels good. I think we did such a great job on these ones um, over the spring that it just lasted. Anyways, the push-ups. Your torso is lowering and lifting by virtue of the muscle in your leg contracting and pushing in to the floor. My hands are just very light support. All right, and then I'm gonna go one hand at a time here. And I'm gonna change to the other hand. And then if possible, I don't know if it's possible for me today to go no hand. Oh. I'm going to take it right into the square. This is where I'm not so good, but you got to start somewhere, right? and then I'll just turn away from my foot. Now I've got my torso rotation in there. Same thing. And then I'm going to add an upper body stretch in that torso rotated mode, reaching over and out, and then drop your shoulder. Mm. Nice job. Yeah, that's intense. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I thought we would go 20 minutes and it's 30. I don't think that's too bad for just uh, getting back in the game. On one hand, that gives more work to that leg, okay?
finishing it up here. And rotating away from that foot. And then adding a little more focus to the upper body, pressing that hand in, dropping your shoulder. Oh, oh, that was challenging. Very good. I'm so glad we got back on track. All right, so I'll send up the boards. Everyone's doing the boards. And um, I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into my mindset, my mind game going back into this because it's never easy. I'll tell you, it's never easy. Going back into a cut phase. Some of you are not going into a cut phase. You're continuing with your um, building cycle. Um, we're all different, but the um, building blocks are all the same. It's just how you put them together at different times, different cycles, all right? If you need guidance or you just, you know, to chat, then get in touch with me. Awesome. Hey, Don and uh, Jackie, you guys are here? Uh -huh, love it. I'm out of here. I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to do the boards. I'm going to go get my groceries. I'm going to do my, my macros and my, my, my numbers for my food. So, um, yeah, it's time for all of us, right? Good stuff. Thanks a lot, you guys, for hanging in with me. We got till mid-October, and then um, one more before Christmas. I cannot believe this year has gone the way it has gone. Alrighty, so have a fantastic Sunday, and I will flood your uh, timeline with some um, really cool workouts to do next week. See you later.